Good day, explorers. It's Mr. Reinhardt from Miss Bianchi's kindergarten class with another special book for you today. This one follows a couple of themes that we are working on, uh, nonfiction and community helpers. This one has a lot of community helpers in it. This book is called On the Plane, a shining light, shiny light book. I'll show you what that's all about. It's pretty cool. Written by Karen Brown and illustrated by B. Johnson. An airport is busy with planes and people. If you peer between the check-in desk, through the terminal, and inside the planes, you can see the people who work for the airlines. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it to the light to reveal pilots, cabin crew, and plane parts and types. Discover a world of great surprises. This is going to be fun. It's one of my favorite books. People stand in a line at the check-in desk. Can you see who is looking at the tickets? I see somebody there. Who is it? Next. Airline staff check the passports, tickets, and bags that will be placed in the bottom of the plane. They make sure people are ready to travel. After check-in, each passenger goes through security. Bags are x-rayed and people are scanned for dangerous objects. What can you see on the x-ray? Well, I don't know. Let's take a look. All kinds of stuff in the suitcase. I see an iPod, like a laptop, suntan lotion, must be going to the beach, sunglasses, a hat, and a camera. Did we get it right? Let's see. Yep. Zap. The x ray is quick and safe. People pick up their bags and go to the plane. This Boeing 737 can carry 215 people. Each person has a seat number on a ticket. Where is the baggage stored? Good question. Let's see if we can figure that out. There it is. In the bottom. Just like they said. Click. Hand baggage is put in the overhead bins above the seats. Large bags are loaded into the hold at the bottom of the plane. Chocks away. The wheel chocks that stop the plane have to be taken away before the plane can move. It's the wheel chocks that stop the wheels from rolling. Can you see who is signaling? There he is. Who is that? Swish. An airport marshaler waves colored wands to guide the pilot to the runway. That's something I used to do. Among many jobs I did in aviation, that was one of them. A tall control tower stands in the airport. Controllers inside tell the pilots when to land and take off. Can you see the controllers? There they are. What are they doing in there? Cleared for takeoff. Controllers use radios to talk to the pilots. Computer screens show where the planes are in the sky. The plane has two enormous engines, one on each wing. How do they work? Hmm. Let's find out. Yep, there we go. You can see all the airflow through. It gets heated up and pushed out the back. Let's find out exactly how that works. Roar! A huge spinning fan inside, inside each engine sucks in air. The air mixes with fuel and catches fire to make hot gases. The gases shoot backward and push the plane forward. Pretty neat. Just before takeoff, a member of the cabin crew shows the passengers how to put on a life jacket. Where are the passengers' life jackets? Hmm. Let's see. There they are, underneath the seats. There's a life jacket under every seat. There are many planes in the sky. Air traffic controllers make sure they fly different routes. Can you see any other airplanes? Hmm, not yet. Let's check the radar, shall we? Oh, I see a couple right there. We look pretty safe, though. We're above them. Let's keep flying. Whirr. Each plane has a signal that is picked up by the air traffic control radar. Air traffic controllers make sure the planes don't fly too close to each other. Got to keep them safe. The plane is flying above the clouds. Can you see inside the cockpit? That's where the pilots are. Let's see this area here. 
I hope they're in there. Let's find out. Yep, there they are. Pilot and co-pilot. Beep! The pilot switches on the autopilot and the computer flies the plane. The pilot and co-pilot check the route and stay in touch with the air traffic controllers. The plane has special parts to help it turn. Can you see them? I did another video last year, you guys can see that it shows how all that stuff works. It has to do with airflow. Swoosh. The tail and wings have parts that move to turn the plane. The rudder on the tail goes from side to side. Right here, and that helps the airplane do this. These are called ailerons. They help the airplane do this. That's an elevator. That helps the airplane do this. That's called pitch. And these are called flaps. It helps slow the airplane down, but keep it from uh, falling out of the sky. Use those usually when you're landing. Sometimes on takeoff. One of the cabin crew comes around with a service cart. Can you see what's inside? Oh, must be snack time. You getting hungry yet? Let's see what they got. All kinds of drinks and snacks. Crunch. There are lots of different types of drinks and yummy snacks in the service cart. Slurp. People do all sorts of things on a plane. Can you see what some of them are doing? Hmm. Let's take a look. Well, let's see. It looks like that person's looking at what's called a GPS. It tells where the plane is, its altitude, which is how high up it is, and how fast it's going. Somebody's watching the show. It's like somebody's playing a game. Got a game controller. I wonder if they're watching Finding Nemo. I see a fish. Hmm. On large planes, there are screens on the backs of the seats. People watch cartoons and movies and can play games. As the plane nears the end of its trip, it flies down toward the runway. Where are its wheels? That's a good question. He's awfully close to the runway. She put those wheels down. Let's see. There they are. Clunk. The plane's wheel wheels tuck underneath the plane after takeoff. Now they move down so the plane can land. And you can hear those when they go up and down too. After landing, airport staff start unloading the bags. How do people get from the plane into the airport? Hmm. Let's take a look. They're walking off the plane. Where do they go? They just fall out? Oh no, there's a big tunnel right there. See that? A hallway. Yep, there it is. A special corridor on wheels connects the plane to the building. A corridor is like a hallway. It's a moving hallway. It is time to find the bags. They are loaded on a truck from the plane and driven to the baggage area. Where are the bags down? It's a good question. There they are. See all the luggage? Oh, somebody's got a guitar. Could be a cello. Swish. The bags travel down a moving carousel from the baggage truck into the building. People find and collect their luggage. Bump. While the passengers were getting their bags, our plane was cleaned and given fuel. From inside the airport, we can see our plane take off again to fly to another destination. Bye, airplanes. As you can see, Explorers, there's a lot of community helpers involved with aviation and airports and stuff. Let's look at a few There's more There's a lot to spot in a plane and at an airport. Here are some people and objects you have you have read about in this book Pilot and co-pilot The pilot is a person who is in charge of flying the plane and making sure the plane and passengers are safe The pilot is also called the captain. The co-pilot is also called the first officer the co-pilot sits beside the pilot and helps during the trip by looking out for problems and talking to air traffic control. The pilot can ask the co-pilot to take over the flight controls. So yeah, both of them can fly. Air traffic controllers. Air traffic controllers speak to pilots by radio. 
They monitor aircraft safety by watching the weather conditions and all the planes around the airport. Very important stuff. That's a big job. Air Marshaler. At takeoff and landing, the pilot looks out for an air marshaler who makes special hand and arm signals to guide a pilot in the right direction. The pilot knows what each signal means. Maybe one day I can show you guys how that works. Cabin crew. The crew of a plane makes sure the passengers are happy. They welcome passengers onto the plane, give safety talks, serve food and drinks, and help people off the plane at the end of the flight. Oh, now we go into security. X-ray machine. See? An X-ray machine takes a picture of the contents of a bag without opening it. The machine sends invisible X-rays through the bag in instead. The X-ray X-rays pick out the shapes of the items inside. Kind of like you do with the doctors. Passport. When you're traveling overseas. A passport has the name and photo of a passenger and the passenger's country and date of birth. You need a passport to travel from one country to another. Radar. Extremely important for air travel. Radar is an electronic machine that air traffic controllers and pilots use. On the plane, the radar can tell a pilot about the weather ahead of them. Pilots will try to avoid flying through bad weather. Pilots also use other type of electronic, another type of electronic machine called a TCAS. This lets them know when there are other planes flying nearby. That stands for Collision Avoidance System. Traffic Collision Avoidance System, I think it is. And there you have it, boys and girls. A book about air travel that shows a lot of community helpers. There are so many in here that we can really add to our list of community helpers when we uh, talk about them and share our ideas with each other. Hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. It was a lot of fun. And until next time, it's Mr. Reinhardt saying see you later, explorers.